Hi, welcome back to the uh, Spirit Lounge. Hope you guys are doing really well. So today's video uh, is a reminder. Um, make a couple of reminder videos and this is the first, one of the one subject is for today, or maybe another one today, is uh, karma. And why is it do I want to remind everyone of karma? Why do we need to be reminded of karma constantly? Um, mainly because of experiences I'm having uh, within uh, that I'm observing in others and also particularly within the professional aspects of our lives our work area our work and people we work with um, and it's seen and it's some a karma is something that we forget it's something we we fail to understand properly we fail to understand the gravity of this divine universal law of karma and what it is and how pervasive it is and how it affects everything in our lives it affects everything every one it's a divine universal law unavoidable to all Univer and uh, human, human belief systems and aspects and little rules we make for ourselves have absolutely no significance or consequence on divine law these are, we make our own little rules for ourselves to excuse our behaviours. And what, I'm find, what I found of recent um, weeks and months, probably longer than that, is um, the absence of the understanding of karma in the behaviour of others. And uh, it's something that I think I'll, I'm going to remind, and I'm going to ask, ask you guys to, if you want to uh, more in-depth understanding of what karma is in my, in my view, uh, there's a video that I did on karma specifically I created on karma that you'd like to might want to rewatch if you haven't already seen it already um, but maybe want to look at that again well let's re understand karma again um, karma is cause and effect we write forward karma is one of those uh, universal laws that surround actions words thoughts and intentions that we have and we create timelines through those things, those four aspects, which transmute energy through thought. Thought and energy is transmuted through our actions, words, thoughts and intentions in life. Every second, minute, hour of our waking and sleeping time, animate or inanimate life is affected by all of these aspects and the divine law of cause and effect which is karma we hold our own karma we cannot pass it on we cannot remove it and we cannot negate it through any actions of our own to try to confuse it pass it on to others it's impossible to avoid and it's held in the most myopic and microscopic things that we do create karma to the largest the most impactful things that we do. It's important to understand karma in every action, word, thought and intention, whether it's realized or not realized in life, is held with us. Everything is. And we create our timelines in the Akasha as a result of um, our previous actions, words and thoughts in the now and in the past, we've created forward timelines and those forward timelines are capsulating our karma, our cause and effect flow forward of what we experience. It's unavoidable. We will experience our karma whether in this life or another. We will. No one, there's no one, there's nothing that exists in this internal, eternal universe that can avoid it, no matter how powerful some of us or those amongst us think they are. No matter how, what manipulations they feel they can make in, through divine universal energy, what occult practices they may perform to manifest um, abstractions from the astral plane. No matter what they think and how powerful they feel they are in, in this universe. Karma is their own. 
it will always be their own, our own, uniqueness to ourselves. And why do I say this? Because I've been observing many uh, people I've, I've um, surround my life in many in different aspects, different ways, who perform, who behave in such a way um, where they don't understand karma yet profess to be spiritual religious people who believe in something greater or feel there's something greater than themselves yet operate in a way that is abstractly opposing the understanding of self and of karma and a cause and effect behaving and treating others as they feel they can not understanding the consequences of what the actions, words and thoughts and intentions of what they do, what they say, how they behave. And this is mainly because of arrogance and ego and narcissism. Uh, it always usually makes us blind to universal and divine laws. And I observe this quite a lot and it seems obvious that we constantly need to be reminded of what these divine laws are and that karma is real and that we must always conduct our actions, words, thoughts and intentions realized or not past, present and future because they are attached to us and they will, they will come back around multifold particularly negative ones and Understand that if we, when we're mindful of this divine universal law within our reaction, word and thought, then we make sure that our action, words and thoughts are of high frequency and vibrations and of empathy and sympathy and consideration for others around us as well as ourselves. And through those actions, words and thoughts, directed through the understanding of, div of the divine universal laws, of the isness of all that is, then the world becomes a better place because we treat ourselves and others better. It directs our karma to a more positive frequency and our future timelines as such. We cannot avoid karma. Cannot. So just be mindful and remember, remember, remember that everything that we do creates a ripple of cause and effect into this astral plane into the quantum quantum field sorry and the akasha creating our timelines that we've discussed in our videos previously they're on the um, they're out there on my channel to watch if you wish to watch them again but it's important to remind yourselves of karma doing something and then making a prayer to ask for forgiveness for something doesn't work. I'll say that again. Knowing that you've performed and acted in a way that you should not have because of narcissism, ego, self-protection, manipulations, games, or whatever we wish to play out there, whether in our personal, private, or professional lives, and then going into a temple or any place of worship or home and asking for those that can it cause and effect to be deleted because you've performed a ritual doesn't work. It is fantasy and illusion. We will only negate and balance our cause and effect through actions, words, thoughts and intentions in this world with others. And that means that we have to be mindful of those things ourselves and own them. Accountability and ownership is slightly lacking in people. And this video is quite harsh. It doesn't matter if it puts some people off. It's not a concern for me. But I'm here to speak truth. This is not new age. Um, I'm here to reinforce understanding and awareness that comes from my own perceptions of course but I'm only here to tell you the straight um, truth as I perceive it 
because we need to understand it without the fluff because this the fluff is just um, we don't need that we just need to hear what it is so remember karma in everything you do because it matters it matters it matters it matters you don't just walk past a person who needs your help because you feel oh well the state will look after them don't ignore the plight of another and remember everything is karma if you go to the ballot box remember for me if you're going to vote do it for the reasons to uh, to um, support and make permanent those things that help those lesser fortunate than you whose life and timelines have not worked out like yours have not for your own pocket and so your wallet can get fatter that also holds karma it's difficult isn't it it's, it's shocking for us to understand that ev everything we do is a positive or a negative frequency it's if the what's the intention for it is important the intention of what we every action word and thought the intention is important we cannot mask intention if it's within us it's out there here out there here within us everywhere it's not really up there but we'll make the akasha and the quantum field up there for our minds to understand karma is extremely powerful hence because it's a divine law of cause and effect it's a divine law for a reason be mindful of it don't be fearful of it be mindful of it we're not perfect we're never going to be perfect when in body but our purpose is to be to elevate our frequencies closer as close to the divine grace the god the oneness the unity which i'll be talking about in another video shortly as we can whilst we're in the abstract duality the opposing experience itself okay so thanks uh, for listening i hope this um this helped um i think i'm going to be reminding um uh, as we move forward us all of uh well, myself of course of divine universal laws what are these universal laws because if we forget them in our daily lives it does impact us it'll impact our journeys so um yeah i wanted to that was, was inspired from things i've been experiences of late so i hope it was helpful and again please like and subscribe or alert bell for any uh, future videos that um, i publish um, and thanks for all those who subscribe and watch these i do appreciate it because yeah hey you can watch anyone's videos you don't have to watch mine there are plenty of uh, people out there with channels just like this i suppose and you could watch those as opposed to watching this one so internally grateful and um uh, and thankful for for your time watching it so have a great day and uh, thanks again and love to you all thank you bye bye